started to get them where they needed to go. Like even like say baby and cash money, you know, hey. I actually had to take their music and send it to Universal for them because they were kids. They weren't even 21 years old back then. They were young kids. These people remember, keep visualizing them back in the, those days they were very young kids. So, and then I had to go get the plane, buy the plane tickets for them to go to Universal to get the deal. You know, it was a journey here that stems back from the beginning of how people are artists evolve. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You know, I'll be honest and tell you that our music, and especially with hip hop back in the days, most of the stores weren't buying them because it would of the language and everything. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And so we were one of the only stores, I would say in the country, that like, you know, Public Enemy would come over, or Flavor Flavor and all that, they would stay, hang out with us. We help, you know, help, they'll tell you the story if you ever talk to them because we help move this stuff, same thing, Bumby and UGK and all of them. We help move this stuff, they stayed at the store. So you've and met so, UGK? Well, I, mean, I mean, our store was the center of everyone coming in. All, all the artists spent their time at the store. Wow. Just, so I said, it's more of an institute than it is just a record store. What? These artists all hung out daily and the local artists all spent time hanging out there, like for Manny Fresh to WD. I see Manny Fresh up, wearing the Peaches shirt. Yeah, because they grew up in the store. There, <laughs> that's like they were my children. You know what I mean? Like, it's like I felt like I gave birth to these people because, like, you know, this is home when they they came in and they connected together and worked out together things. It was a whole. This, this is a beautiful city. Wow, it's very special. People are very very kind to each other here. I mean, really. So all these artists, you know, were helping each other out, and you know, it was. I wish y'all were around to see that. Man, I, that's, why a, we, that's why we. That's why we trying to get all the you. stories through you. No, it was a. It's a <laughs> you'd had to. You'd had to grateful. seen it, right? Yeah, I had to see it and feel it. I feel very grateful that it was all ha possible, because, you know, it was just, and not because the rest of the world wasn't ready for that type of music, even the bounce. But I'm so thankful. Here. I'm so thankful that you accepted that when no one else did to be well, able to you know give them that leg up well the thing is it was easy because these the kids were beautiful i'm serious like i said if you didn't know any better you thought i'd be both of them they were that beautiful mm -hmm. you know and i'm very grateful that i had the opportunity to share that with them you know and to do that so we so we worked together to get them where they needed to go like even like say baby and cash money you know hey. i actually had to take their music and send it to universal for them because they were kids. They weren't even 21 years old back then. They were young kids. These people, remember, keep visualizing them back in the, those days they were very young kids. So, and then I had to go get the plane, buy the plane tickets for them to go to Universal to get the deal. You know, it was a journey here that stems back from the beginning of how people, our artists evolved. So, mm -hmm. so you know, so it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, no, I just. I, I feel grateful, I, I was, part of, you know, able to do this. And then to and know to how together, to do, right, and know exactly how to do it and what information you needed and to be able to teach them. Because again, I'll go back to your spirit. Your spirit is so welcoming and, you know, like you, you don't hold anything back. You will, you will teach them, you will show them exactly how to do Because you said they were young, so they needed they to young. know how to do yeah, it to move out on themselves. They didn't even know how to write a check in on <laughs> Right, right. It's, it was beautiful. Tell but that's that. good. Yeah. Maybe they didn't I have nobody else to help them. I know, like, that's why I feel so blessed. I feel like God's given me an opportunity, to, you know, with this big family. Mm -hmm. Like, I, growing up, I wanted a large family, but I only had biologically two children. Mm -hmm. So this was, you know, this is your large this is my family. Large children, yes. Very large and family. And I'm very, 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 like, very yeah. connected. Like I said, I daily exchange blessings with KL and all of them daily. Like, there's not a day that passes by that I don't get up in the morning and make sure, I, you know, so we know that we we stay connected and we stay together on that. We're gonna walk, the walk, holding hands, going where we're gonna go. It's, you know, it's part. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.